Known as Awesome Map Network. It's the it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Math Network. Welcome back to season two of the Mr. Donez Awesome Math Network. I'm your host, Mr. Donez, aka Mr. Donez. Please be sure to subscribe to the network and hit that like button if you enjoy what you see today. And please follow me on Instagram at Donez underscore the big action. Let's get right to it. Today's topic basic rigid transformations. A rigid transformation is a movement of a figure, a shape usually, on a coordinate grid that does not affect the size of the shape. So the figure, the shape, whatever you're moving, doesn't get bigger and it doesn't get smaller, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't get larger. It's simply moving someplace else on the coordinate grid from wherever it started. We're gonna go over three basic types of rigid transformations today. The first one being a translation. A translation is when a figure slides. It slides and it doesn't turn. It just goes somewhere else. It can slide to the left. It can slide to the right. It can slide up. It can slide down. It's just kind of moving around. It's not getting bigger. It's not getting smaller. It's not turning. So that is a translation. Next transformation we're going to talk about is a rotation. A rotation is when a figure turns about a point. And we call that point the center of rotation. Every point on the figure goes in a circle around the center. Rotation can go clockwise, and I want you to think of the face of a clock. And when you think of the face of a clock, the hands, the way the hands move as time goes by, that is a clockwise movement. Now, you can also have a rotation called counterclockwise, and that is if the clock, instead of moving in the normal direction, clockwise when time goes by well what if the hands were moving in the opposite direction that's counterclockwise the last type of translation we're going to discuss today is a reflection a reflection places points on the opposite side of a reflection line usually when we start talking about transformations the reflection line is usually the x-axis or the y-axis which you can see to my left right now well you know my left bang all right, and just like you would look at your reflection in the mirror, anytime you do something in a mirror, it's reflecting, it's mimicking what you're doing, but on the opposite. So if you raise your right hand, your reflection, your right hand becomes your left hand and so forth. So the mirror image of the figure on the opposite side of the reflection line is a backwards copy of the original figure. So just to recap today, we talked about three types of rigid transformations. We have a translation, sliding about, moving around. We have a rotation, turning, counterclockwise and clockwise. And we have a reflection in which we're taking that image and flipping it on the other side of a line and everything is backwards. So there you have it. This is the basic introduction of basic rigid transformations. I've been Mr. Donez. Please like and subscribe, follow on Instagram, and I hope you learned something today. Let me know. Known as Awesome Map Network. It's the it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Map Network.